Hey, Academy! Hey, guys, how you guys doing? This is Jay Burnham from the Seven Figure Moving Academy. How you doing, you movers and shakers? Welcome to our live broadcast. I'm going to wait here. Oh, I got to get my phone ready here so we can see what's going live. So if there's any comments, leave them in the comment section. Oh, I forgot all about that. Okay, let's get a... I'm setting up my phone so I can see comments. Comments. Get the comments going. All right. My phone is slow, so you've got to forgive me here. All right. Okay. All right. Seven figure. Oh. There we go. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? We're live. Let's see if what we got any comments. Live chat. There's two people, it says here. Okay. Okay. We're going to let some people get online before we really get started. But, yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to turn my phone on the sideways. Or, or I guess I won't do it. Still loading up okay. here. There we go. Gonna have to mute that stuff. So. Turn my phone on the sideways. Or, well, I guess I won't do it. Still loading up here. There we go. I'm gonna have to mute that stuff. So. Uh, I guess it won't mute. The sideways, oh, there we go. Well, I guess I won't do it. There we go. All right, guys. So if you are in the chat, I can actually see the chat here on my uh, phone. So go ahead. Hey, what's up, Michael? Glad to have you here. We're going to get started here very, very shortly. I'm going to give it a couple minutes before we go. I can see everybody on everybody that's here. We got three people, it says. Woo. So that means y'all working, which is awesome, and that's what you should be doing, or you're all vacationing, which is awesome, and that's what you should be doing. So, or maybe you just got done with the work and now you're coming on and that's fine too. And that's absolutely, but we're going to give a couple more minutes here, get people to come on. If you guys want to talk to me, leave me a comment in the comment section. It is on my phone. See, yeah, you can see me. It's, it's delayed here. So you gotta, so, so we do have Michael here. All right, this is good, but we're going to get done today. We're going to talk about the eight reasons your moving company is going to fail. Ooh. All right. Okay, let's go. All right. So um, give it a couple more minutes to get some people here and then we'll get rocking and rolling. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I just made that weird face and it actually recorded. Isn't that interesting? All right. Anybody else? Okay. Hey, how you guys doing? Good, good. All right, guys. We'll get started here very shortly. Give it a couple more seconds and then we'll get going. All right, good. We're going to get started, guys. Hey, movers and shakers. Welcome to the Seven Figure Moving Academy. This is uh, the eight reasons your moving company is going to fail. So basically what I want to do now is I actually want to turn this over into a slideshow. We'll get into the slideshow. You're going to see uh, the tunnel of death here when I do my screen share. So don't freak out. Not a big deal. Okay. Good. All right. Good. There we go. All right. Present to everyone. Good. All right. Let me see what. Let me see if we're getting it going here. Whew, there. All right. Looking like a. Okay. What's going on? Stop screen sharing. There we go. Uh, I can't figure out why this thing doesn't go right. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm going to try it again. All right. Application window. There we go. There we go. Now I should do it. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah, I figured it out. Okay, let me get into We're going to get into presentation mode here. All right. Okay, there we go. Guys, here we go. Eight reasons your moving company is going to fail. Don, don, don. Okay, here we guys go. 
All right, I just want to let you know and get this video started by telling you that this video is being sponsored by our friends, Mugistics by Natensity. They are a great CRM moving co uh, company. Um, they, they're one of the best in this area. And if you guys are interested, I have a special offer for you at the end of this video or actually at the end of this pro uh, presentation by Mugistics. So stick around to the end to get your special offer your special gift by uh mugistics um and we'll tell you that but they are the sponsors of this video so let's get moving to the next one so the first reason why you're going to fail guys is paralysis of analysis you guys are overthinking it you like the like the little uh picture there you guys are overthinking you think you guys are coming to my my YouTube videos, you're coming to the group, you're going to the other groups, you're reading all the information that all the, the vets and the gurus in the, in the groups and the memberships, they have to offer. And that's great, but you're not taking action. You're not actually implementing all this stuff and you're getting all this great advice, but you, you're probably overwhelmed because you don't know what you should implement first or what the order, the sequential order that it should be done in. And I understand that, but you, what's happening is you're getting all this information and now you're being paralyzed because of all this analysis and it's overwhelming you. And if you continue along that route without taking action, just taking one piece of action, implementing it right then and there, you're going to fail. It is just inevitable. It's an unfortunate circumstances. So you got to just stop with the paralysis of analysis. At one point, you just got to take one piece of advice and just act on that piece of advice. If you need to know about insurance, get your information that you're looking for about insurance and then operate and get your insurance or change your insurance or, or, or find about it. Learn how to sell valuation, upsell valuation, or whatever you need to do. But just take it one step at a time. Don't try to take in all the information at once, right? I want you to look at all the threads and, and all the information you're being given. Some some of the advice is just completely crap, and some of it will be uh, useful. Um, and you'll find that which is useful because most people will be agreeing with the stuff that's useful, and the people that don't agree with the unuseful stuff won't just ignore it and let it go by the wayside so but you should definitely just take one piece of uh information and act on that don't try to get all this pieces of information like how to hire somebody insurance upsells uh you know bols contracts tariffs and try to all implement it at once because then what's going to happen is you're going to be overwhelmed and you're not going to know what to do first or how to get it going and you're just going to end up in what's called paralysis of analysis all right so that's your first reason you're going to fail this reason two your rates are too low that's right, guys. You're dropping your drawers on your rates. You guys are trying to go for the wrong people. You're not going for the people that actually have the money. You're trying to get the, the low-cost movers and trying to do it. Now, there are guys that specialize in low-cost moves, and if that's the target audience you want to go for, great. But you realize that you're going to be charging uh, moves at a low, low rate, and the margins just aren't going to be huge. So you're going to have to compensate that with quantity. So you're going to have to get more quantity. right? I saw the other day, I was looking through Craigslist uh, the other day doing some other things, and I was looking in the various cities. And one of the cities I was looking at was Chicago. And I noticed that there was people advertising on in Craigslist in Chicago for $60 an hour for two guys with truck. Those rates are just too low. I mean, insurance, workman's comp, uh, you know, all, all the, the regulations that you have to pay for, you cannot make any money at $60 an hour with two men in a truck. You just can't. It, it, it's not going to happen. So, you know, you guys got to understand that your rates Ha might have to increase and that means you're going to might have less moves than you were having before and that's going to happen but you're going to have you're going to be making as much or more money by raising your rates so the second reason why you're going to fail your moving company is because you are charging too low now if you want to charge the the low cost 
uh, for the low-cost moves and you want to do it legally and be licensed and insured and stuff, that's absolutely 100% fine. But just realize you're going to have to compensate that with quantity. So you will have to do four, five, six times the amount of work that I would by doing one large job, local job. Okay, so just realize that I can work less and make just as much money as you working your tail off and working like a dog doing the low cost moves. All right. So you're going to have to find that happy medium. But the second reason is your rates are too low. Reason three, you're tripping over hundred dollar bills to pick up dimes. And I mean, that's that's just really simply you're 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 trying to you're trying to minimize your expenditures basically to save a buck or you're trying to buy things uh, you know you're trying to get you buy the cheapest materials so that you can save a buck when you're sitting there and you're buying tape which is at two hundred two dollars and fifty cents a roll instead of buying rubber bands which are like 15 20 bucks a dozen you know you don't Oh, I don't want to spend 20 bucks to buy a dozen rubber bands. What you're not taking account for is those rubber bands will be used over and over and over. And again, you will have actually paid for the rubber bands in two, three, four moves. You, you see what I'm saying? Versus using tape. Tape, yeah, it's only 250 but you're going to have to buy five, six, seven, ten rolls of tape during the, the execution of a move or packing job. So by... It's things like this, you know, when you're you're going over and you're you're trying to cut costs, but when in the in the operation of cutting costs, you're actually not looking at the long-term effects of how much money you're actually spending. Often when you're trying to save that buck, you're you know, to save the buck, you're you're wasting hundreds of dollars. You know, you're not using the you're not getting the right equipment, the right dollies that break down every other move, and, and so on and so forth. You're not getting the right dollies, you're not getting the right equipment, and so on and so forth. And there, there's a lot of uh, situations in this, but the thing is, is that you're by trying to save a buck, you're actually actually going to end up spending far more than you would you would have saved by going these this cheaper route. So guys, look at your expenses, you know, find out and budget correctly. Don't, don't worry about, you know, those short-term costs. Look at the long-term costs like rubber bands is a great example. Using bands instead of, uh, you know, stretch wrap or tape is going to save you guys a lot of money. All right. All right, so the next one, guys, what we're doing here is you're cutting corners. Now, this kind of this kind of uh, similar to the last one where you're picking up, you know, picking up dimes while while missing the hundred dollar bills. But basically, this is when you're 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 trying to you're you're. It's not more about salt cost savings. It's more about like you're not doing the necessary job. You're not you're not putting down. Uh, floor runners on the floor so the wood floors don't get scratched. You're not putting cardboard up on the walls so that the, the cardboard gets dinged up instead of the walls. You're not putting uh, pads or, or noodles or whatever on the on the stair banisters, etc., to protect the stuff. You're not doing what you need to do, or or you're not wrapping the furniture before it leaves the house. Instead, you're put you're taking it out on the truck, putting it on a truck, and putting a pad or two, maybe if you're lucky, on the stuff so the stuff will still get damaged. This is cutting corners. It's taking the short route to trying to get where you want to go. And I understand, and sometimes, you know, customers are paying you by the hour and you're under the pressure. But if you got a good good and well-trained crew, they can get stuff done very quickly and still do the job you're looking for. But maybe you you got to tell them, hey, this is what we're going to do. You know, we're going to make sure we come in there. We're going to put down floor runners on your floor. We're going to make sure your walls are covered with uh boxes so they don't get damaged we're gonna and that's before we do we pick up a single box we're gonna go and make sure and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the pads we're gonna make sure everything's wrapped up so on and so forth what we're trying a lot of movers especially the newer movers and the in the inexperienced movers you're cutting corners you're trying to just get it done fast instead of doing it right 
right? You're not giving the customer the customer service they want. What they want you, they want you to do it right and they want you to do it quickly. So just keep that in mind. Stop cutting corners. If you keep cutting corners, it's going to end up a bad for you eventually. You're going to end up with lots of damage claims. You're going to end up with bad reviews and it's just going to get worse and worse. And eventually people will just stop hiring you. Reason number five, you're not customer orientated. Like I, 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 I thought I was when I first started my moving business, but the, the quite honestly, you know, when you're getting a lot of bad reviews and you're not really handling or the customer calls in and they're all bitchy and complaining and, and you, and you talk to them in a manner that's belligerent or, or arrogant, or you come off as high and mighty, or you basically threaten them in some manner that's not customer service you know customer service is hearing their complaints it's hearing about their concerns and then taking care of them it's and it's even before that happens even before you get to that point it's making sure your guys are your guys are well trained in customer service that your guys represent your your company that they're well trained they have all the equipment that they need that that they show up on time and so on and so forth this is all customer service. You want to make sure that your customer service is so top notch that there is no problems. So before there is a problem, you got to make sure your cr your crews are uh, you know are looking sharp, that they're on time, that they got all the equipment. That includes trucks, that includes blankets, dollies, everything that you need. So cutting corners and not being customer service oriented, your crew not being customer service oriented, ends up with the customers feeling. Uh, dejected, they feel upset, they're angry, and they're most likely going to leave you a poor uh, or negative review. And once those negative reviews start stacking up, there's no no amount of you trying to explain them away is going to solve the problem. You know, so your, your company is going to fail if you're not customer service oriented. And if you, the owner, have a problem with customers saying, oh, I, I lost a diamond ring. Okay, great. Well, that's horrible, sir. Uh, you know, I, l let's find out what we could do about that. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get every one of my guys. I'm going to pay for it. We're going to call in. The, I want you to file a police report. I'm going to get my guys. We're going to have them do sit down and they're going to do uh, a lie detector test. But in also, I want to make sure that you, you take a lie detector test. Don't worry. I'll pay for it. And we're going to have you do one as well. You and your family and all your family members will have to take a lie detector test. I'll have my guys and we'll get this all sorted out. We'll make sure we've helped find you find this ring. We'll get it all sorted out. I mean, just bending over backwards when you do something wrong is part of customer service. But part of customer service is also being doing it right in the first place. So by doing that, it's training them right making sure that they have the right equipment, make sure that they have a checklist when they walk in the into the house, your driver, your crew leader should have a checklist of what they do first. Boom, 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 boom. And he should be making sure that the crew is doing that checklist. Well, step one, step two, step three, step four. Absolutely. 100%. So when a new guy comes in, even if he doesn't know what to do, you hand them the checklist and they go in and they do this. One, two, three, four. There's no excuses. This is part of systemizing your, your crews and your, and your business, which will eventually end up in a big thing here. All right. Reason six, you lack organization. <laughs> you see the picture there with the papers everywhere on the desk. Um, you're still doing it old school. And that's nothing wrong with doing it old school. But lacking organization is going to be the death of you. Organization and having the proper organization is the cornerstone to a successful uh, company, any company, not just your moving company, but any company. Now, there is some great software, and uh, this is a tie in to our sponsor, Mugistics. Mugistic is a CRM, and they will help you organize your crews. They'll help you organize your budgets. They'll help you organize your sale process by this CRM. So, going in and get a proper CRM, even when you're first started, will and, and on a CRM that will actually grow with you as you expand and scale, is going to be tantamount to your success. I suggest you go and check out our friends at uh, Mugistics. But if Mugistics is not right for you, then go and make sure that you're going to go and check out all the CRMs available. Get your demonstrations. Ask the questions. Ask what you need to ask about the CRMs. Um, make sure that you understand completely and fully and, and, uh, and, and you can implement 
the, the CRMs, but realize that it's also going to take work to implement these things, right? And we're going to talk about a little bit of that here in a second. Reason seven, you lack discipline. As Crank Cardone, his thing, uh, had said here um, in his in his uh, materials, and I'm sure you're most of you are very familiar with Grant Cardone, don't expect success where there is no discipline. And that's correct. And discipline starts with from the top to the very bottom. You cannot expect the guys to be, your crews to be disciplined if you're not disciplined. And part of discipline is making sure that you're doing the right things. You're implementing uh, the organization. You're actually putting in the work and understanding and training to understand your, your CRMs, to get that in. You're, you're making sure you understand your budget and your budget is, a, and your spending is in alignment with your budget and your budget is in alignment with your business scaling process, right? Everything's got to be there. So if you don't lack the discipline, if you can't put that discipline in on yourself first, there's no way the discipline is going to be go down the hill to the guys, to all, all your employees. So you're going to have to put in discipline. The lack of discipline is the biggest reasons why most companies fail. It isn't because you're stupid. It isn't because uh, you don't have the money. It isn't because you don't have the the where you know you don't have the 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 area in which to work. It's not because there's not enough work, etc. It's because you lack discipline, right? You lack discipline. And then finally, reason number eight: it's because you fail to invest in yourself and your company. That's right. I can't tell you. I started charging here in my group, in, charging of uh, people to come into my group, and I lost a lot of people because I started charging. I mean, really, I mean, it's $15 a month to come into our membership group, and you guys can't spend 15 bucks a month? That's one McDonald's meal a month. One. You just not eat one McDonald's meal or don't go to the movies one time a month and you're and, and you're going to miss out on the opportunity uh, and the and the ability to fast track and and uh, you know jump over all the mistakes that all of us vets have did all of our hard work that we put in to make our company success, a success you're going to just ignore all that because you can't you don't want to spend 15 bucks a month. Seriously, you don't want to read a book. You don't want to sit there and you don't want to make sure that your, your crews are healthy. You don't want to make sure that they have health ben benefits because you don't want to invest in your company. You don't want to buy the right equipment. You don't want to buy the things that you need in your company. You're going to still hold your back because you're unwilling to invest in yourself and your company. The most, like this meme says, the most important investment of all, that's right, it's you. You are the most important investment of your company. You got to make sure that you're healthy. You got to make sure you're eating right. You're sleeping right. You've got all, all the health, all your health needs are taken care of. More importantly, you got to make sure that you're getting educated and you're continuing with your knowledge. You cannot expect to just, wee, right? Yes, education comes through a lot of hard work, hard knocks and, and trial and error. That's true. But you know what? When there's a group like mine, like the Seven Figure Moving Academy membership group that only costs $15 when you potentially can make $20,000, $30,000 you know, a month, you're worried about $15. This is what I'm talking about when you're tripping over $100 bills to pick up dimes. You're not willing to put in the money. You're not willing to have the discipline to pay 15 bucks. Come on, you're that's ridiculous. But not and I'm not trying to sell my membership. I'm just trying to give you an illustration, give you an example of why you're not going to uh succeed. This is one of the big reasons why you're going to fail. And it really it, it really encompasses reason number 8 en encompasses all of the reasons why you're going to fail in um you're going to fail your business is going to fail i know i just said that like four times i don't know why i keep repeating myself um all right so let's continue i told you that there was a special offer and there is you're going to get 100 off of majestics when you sign up with majestics just go to this uh url which you see right here um and make sure that you enter that code, the code that's in red, the RHN6P6. Make sure you enter in that code when you sign up. Um, 
the this uh, URL will be in the description of this video. So make sure you just go down there and visit our friends at Majistics and get uh, $100 off when you sign up with Majistics. Make sure you enter in that code to get your uh, $100 discount. This is a gift from our friends at Majistics. And when you say there, just say, hey, Jay from Seven Figure Moving Academy uh, sent me here, okay? Also, I want you to invest in yourself today. This wasn't a, a video to get you to join the seven figure, seven figure moving academy per se, but I did want to bring it up since we did talk about it. So all I want you to do is join the seven figure moving academy membership. This is a paid group, an exclusive group. Only people that join a uh, pay are allowed in this group. And in the group, you're going to get special trainings by me. I'm also going to give you a one hour, one on one. Uh, session with me where we you can ask all your questions that you want in that one hour it's going to be completely free we're going to put it on youtube it'll be private so only the person that will have access to that video is myself and you and you can watch it anytime you want so when we're doing it we'll go over all the We'll go over all your questions. You can take your notes, but if you ever want to come back to the video, I'll make sure you have a link to that video. Secondly, you'll have access to a tremendous amount of people that will help you in the group and that'll help you actually bypass all the mistakes that we did, right? Plus, you'll also be... Uh, you'll be given exclusive uh, opportunities to buy some of my courses and materials before everybody out at discounted prices. And sometimes I'll even offer you some great uh, incentives and freebies as well as contests to get certain things. Um, so like I just gave out uh, five people just recently, five copies of my chapter four of my book that I'm writing called how to hire good guys for your, how to find and hire guys for your moving company. Um, but all I need you to do guys do is go to that web, that uh, URL, www.sevenfigure.academy. It's 15 bucks a month. If you can't afford it, then you, you know what? You're probably not going to be successful as a moving comp. All right, guys, thank you so much. That is the video. If there are any questions, um, I'm going to stop screen sharing now. Okay. All right. We're... All right. I should probably, where is it? Okay. Uh, nope. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is, uh, okay, get this back up there. Uh, no, we don't want you to go there. Okay. Actually, all right, got to get you back here. I apologize, guys. I'm still learning how to do all this thing, and I, I apologize. So you got to give me... Um, forgive me here as i figure all this out but if there's any questions i'll take i can see that i can see you guys down there um all the all the questions if you got any questions all right come on <laughs> there we go Jeez, old pete's criminy there we go there we go Resume hangout on air. Good. All right. So hopefully it'll come back up here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got it. Boo. All right. All right. All right. Good. I should be back on the, on the thing now, guys. Whew. That was wild. That was crazy. Okay. Nope, it still says, oh, there it goes. Okay, good. Now I'm back. All right, I was checking my phone to make sure I was back. So, guys, if you guys got any questions or anything on this, I really want you guys to make sure that uh, you guys are be successful. I really want you guys to be successful. The the eight reasons, I'm not trying to call anybody out, but if there, if if these any of these eight points rings true in your universe, then it's probably a good time to start changing that. You know, feel free to hit me up. You can, you can uh, check me out on the groups. I will hit you up, you know, hit me up on the Facebook Messenger. Um, I do charge for consulting, but if you got a quick question that I can answer, you know, I'm more than welcome to do it. I'm also on the 
on the on the on the membership and just just come to the membership and i will gladly uh, do it if you do want to talk to me about um you want to actually hit me up and want me to help you consult your moving company i'm totally willing to do that too but do realize i do charge for it i do charge 150 bucks an hour for consulting and but you know i you know, if you want want to buy a, a an hour or two here and there, that's fine. We can do that too. Uh, you don't have to buy a certain block, but if you want to, I can get you a deal on a block. But guys, basically, what I want you to do is, if this any of this ring true, any of this presentation rung true to you, I want you to actually look into your business and see where you can start doing it. Go to the Seven Figure Moving Academy. Join the membership. Find out. Ask the people in the groups what you can do to start changing it. Check out my videos that I have online. Ask any of the guys in, in the in the group for advice or uh, ask a question. We'll all gladly be there for you. So, guys, if you like this video, I appreciate it. I don't see any guys. Uh, I don't see any questions, and that's. Um, let me see if I can just. Let me see if I can just go here and see if there's any. I'm going to there mute that. Let's see. Okay. Nope. Nobody's in chat. Okay. Well, all right, guys. At this point, then, I'm going to end off. And um, we're going to see, uh, you know, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share this with all your family and friends. It's going to be right down a little button right there. It says subscribe, hit the subscribe, button. make sure you hit the bell button. If you do got any questions on this, feel free to hit it in the comments after the video is done. And so if you're watching this as a replay, hit, uh, send me a message in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. If you're having a problem on any one of these points, let me know in the comment section. I'll make sure I do answer all the comments. I do read them all. Um, so hit me up. Guys, thank you. Make sure you share this with all your friendly friends. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Do something great today.